Alrighty, everybody. I want to take a little bit of time to do a, or try to do a fi first fire up here of this in the car. At least let it run for a second and make sure I got everything hooked up right, set up right. A couple things have done, changed. Valve covers bolted on, headers are bolted on. They fit good. Gonna have to run different exhausts. I'm probably gonna go ahead and do the stainless steel. Got a stainless steel complete Jags two and a half inch kit. It runs V band clamps on those. So I'm going to have to switch them out, but I got these, and they should work. We'll just weld on literally the collector. We'll cut it down so we can actually weld the exhaust directly to this. Make sure the male, female side's correct and button that up. I'm kind of torn in between because I got the two-chamber Jags muffler stainless, and I have the regular like turbo stainless. I don't necessarily want this thing too loud. I want to be able to drive this car because, you know, right beside it, that's the crazy banana. And I don't want it to be as ridiculous as that, to be honest with you. But we got it in. Got the distributor set back in it. It should be pretty close to where it would start up on the floor. All I did was take the cap off. I might have moved it just a little bit. We got the carburetor. That's a 750 Elderbrock. Bolted the alternator on. Did all the wiring for it. It should be good to go. Uh, water pumps bolted back on it. All the pulleys are on it good. We put a clutch, or I put a clutch fan on it. Uh, had to do a little bit of playing around this aftermarket aluminum water pump. Oddly enough, this is not the same as the steel one I took off. So I had to shim it on the back side to pull it back. But that way, still kind of hard to tell, but it's like right on the money now. It was a little far forward, but it's all good to go. Had to lengthen the wiring harness here. I ordered off Rock Auto. Big tail. That's why it's not white and blue, but it's wired up correctly. Extended the line to it because it was originally a six-cylinder car. Had to get a new throttle cable, got that buttoned up. Took the old plug wires off my 67 Chevelle that I want to have the HEI on it, just to make this thing super simple. Painted the bell housing. It's pretty pretty funny. It actually, if you look at it, it looks like polished aluminum. Painted the transmission. It looks all good. Hooked up the clutch Z-bar. All the power steering stuff actually ended up working out okay. I think that's actually off of a 69 Camaro. Not 100% sure, but it's got a pretty weird setup compared to some of the other stuff for later model. Painted the cover of the voltage regulator. Cleaned up a little bit under here. Still got a bunch to do. Need to start finish sanding on the firewall, finish sanding the top of the dash, get that all buttoned up. And just once again, again, in here, kind of show you all these V-band clamps. And the old, it's got a, I think it's either a Summit or Jags, just a regular mandrel bent. Aluminized two and a half under right now with the thrush two chambers and it sounds good. Don't get me wrong It's just I don't want I don't think I want this thing too obnoxious yeah, It's kind of hard to see it, but there's z-bands in there. They're full-length stainless and they the headers look pretty by themselves This thing also has a different oil pan than I guess a regular Four quart you look at it. You can see right there. It's actually a little bit longer, but it still fits good. I Checked the steering back and forth nothing rubs I'm guessing it's an extra half quart. Not sure what's going on there. But we got all that stuff buttoned up. But I figured y'all could tag along here. Let me set the gauge up here. And just check it. Just to show y'all. You know, it's super cold. Like, I haven't even had a chance to start it yet. But I want to see what this thing, if it'll start, hopefully it will. Yeah, stainless is getting dirty already. It's just sitting here in the shop. But we'll go ahead and fire it up. Or hope it'll fire up. We'll get in here and make sure battery's hooked up. We should be good. Let's see if this thing will pop over. Because we know it started in the floor. But I just want to make sure still the wiring and stuff is right. Because I had to add the HE wire harness. HEI wire harness for the HEI. Because it was points and I had to take out the resistor. Gen lights on. That's good. Pump the gas.
sounds good. Let's see if it start right back up. That's good. That thing runs really, really good. It's got a pretty good cam in it too. Sitting there vibrating, <laughs> vibrating the ground. A little loud in the shop. But it starts right up. That thing runs good. I still need to get, just to finish this up, once again, get the two belts, put them on. I need to go get heater hose. I think I'm going to run up to Osley since they're right down the road from me and get the the rib, the GM kind of hoses and throw on it. Get the, I have the lower radiator hose. This should be here any time. Button that up. And that way I can actually start it up, run it, maybe take it up and down the road a little bit. Make sure she runs all right. And then hopefully after that, I might go ahead and stick the exhaust under it. But more than likely, I'll go ahead and start working on doing some of the body work. Maybe cutting it out. I'm kind of torn right now. I'm thinking really, and I'm thinking hard about it. I'm thinking about putting the Rally Sport lights and stuff in it. I know I have to change some stuff with the fenders, the lower valance, and the uh, hood latch has all got to be changed. We'll have to button all that up. But I think it'd be worthwhile. Also got me a big old nice cleanable air cleaner. I need to get a sticker decal for it. And once again, this is a 368 dated 327, so it should be good to go. It's a big old four inch. We'll run the cow hood on it. But you know, keep tuned. Hopefully we're too long. We'll have this thing kind of buttoned up. Do that. Also kind of got in the disc brake stuff for the banana. Here. I got all of it in. I got the drilled and slotted rotors. Just show you all that too. Just a peek. So we got it up here. Master cylinder here is in the box. I ordered off eBay. But the drilled and slotted rotors are really pretty. Pick it up. But they're nice. They're bigger than the, the my buddy's J car here. We just did a disc brake swap on it. It's pretty much mostly buttoned up. It's the same disc brakes that are on my my. It's already starting to flash rust under there. We want to clear it or something? Because we literally just put this under two days ago, or I put it under two days ago. But these right here fit the 14 inch wheels because J has 14 inch wheels. We're gonna throw it back on there. We've got new. BMR, I think, lowered springs for it. New upper, lower control arms, both sides. New hoses, brake booster, everything. But the, they're a little bigger, and that makes sense because I think this requires a 15-inch larger wheel for those disc brakes. This is a manual brake master cylinder. Once again, that being a blower motor, it probably, I don't want to deal with it. I'll just run the manual discs on it. Well, we got all that stuff here now, too. So, I guess as soon as I get to a stopping point on this and get Jay's car done, we can get back on this and kind of button up some more stuff on it. Get get that done. Hopefully, bedline the floor. Go ahead. put. Probably wouldn't hurt to put the headliner in it, paint the dash, paint the top of the dash, and I'll tape it up, and then we'll start doing the outside of the car. So, y'all know, stay tuned. Keep an eye out. We are working on the little red car for a little bit. And then, back to yellow. Thank you for watching.